Hi everyone, my name is Lizzie Pinnell and I'm the Domestic Program Coordinator at Nightlight Christian Adoptions Florida office. Nightlight Christian Adoptions has been helping women facing unplanned pregnancy make an adoption plan for their child since 1959. Um, over 3,000 babies have been placed through our domestic adoption program and we are licensed in 10 states, California, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, Oklahoma, Missouri, South Carolina, and Texas, but we work with adopted and biological families throughout the whole country other than the state of New York. Nightlight Christian Adoptions works with expectant parents by offering counseling, connecting them to resources, being a support system, as well as facilitating their adoption plan. Nightlight Christian Adoptions only works with prospective adoptive parents who are willing to have openness in their adoption plan as we think that it's the healthiest and best um, thing for the whole entire adoption triad. So um, we really in our um, home study process try to educate our families so they realize how important that is. At Nightlight, we want to work alongside pregnancy resource centers and other organizations to help women in crisis choose life. So we have developed this tool called the Three Box Method. So as you see here, we have three boxes and the idea of this tool is to be a client driven way to spark the conversation of adoption. Um, through some of my conversations with pregnancy resource centers, I found that sometimes it's hard to bring up the topic of adoption. Sometimes it doesn't naturally flow in the conversation and people don't really know how to introduce it to their clients. So this is an easy client driven way to spark the conversation. So what you're going to do is you're going to place all three boxes in front of your client and you're going to tell her you can um, start with any box you want, but the only rule is you have to read everything and you have to read everything out loud. So your client might pick up the parenting box first and inside the parenting box there's pros and cons and there's pros and cons in every box. So she might decide to read out the pros out loud. So for the pros, um, we have your baby will get to live. You will have a relationship with your baby and be able to watch them grow. You will get to decide how your child is raised and being a parent is very rewarding. And then for the cons, you'll experience the stress that comes with raising a child. Your personal path may need to be altered for a period of time, such as career, school, etc. Raising a child is expensive and it can be scary to become a parent and then they might pick up the abortion box and inside that box for the pros, no one has to know. You will have the freedom to pursue the things you want such as school, career, etc., without having to consider how it'll impact your child. Your body will not have to endure the changes and pains of a full-term pregnancy and birth and you do not have to have an ongoing connection with the baby's father. And then the cons, abortion is a medical procedure, so it can be expensive and there is a, expensive and there is a risk of complications. You will experience the grief and loss over your child's life. You will never know what your baby or what she, he or she was like, and you'll always wonder. You have no way of knowing the impact that the trauma of abortion will have on your body. And then lastly, she can pick up the adoption box. And for the pros, your baby will get to live. You will be able to choose the adoptive family if you desire and have the option of openness in your relationship with them so that you can be a part of the baby's life. You will have the freedom to pursue the things you want, such as school, career, etc., without having to consider how it will impact your child. Adoption services are completely free to birth parents. And then for the cons, You'll experience the grief over the loss of parenting. You will not be the one to decide how your child is raised. Your body will experience the changes and pains of pregnancy and childbirth without the end result of parenting your baby. And people will know you became pregnant. So the idea here is when your client is reading the pros and cons to start the conversation between them. Um, you know, a lot of women might not realize that open adoption is a thing. She might think if she chose adoption, she'll never get to see her child's face. And so, you know, when she's reading the pros about open adoption, it can spark that conversation on what is open adoption? 
So it's just a great tool to use and it's very easy to train your staff and volunteers on. It's also very inexpensive to make. Um, we got our boxes at Hobby Lobby, but you can use any kind of boxes, any kind of bags will work too. And it's just a really great way to bring up that conversation that sometimes is naturally missing. So um, if you would like, you can reach out to me via, via email. It's lizzie at nightlight.org. That's spelled L-I-Z-Z-Y at nightlight.org. And I could send you a Microsoft Word template on the pros and cons that we've come up with. Um, you can edit it and add to them, take away whatever you think would best fit your clientele. And then you can just print it off and add it to your boxes. It's super easy. Um, also, if you would like, I would love it if you would reach out to me. If you ever have any clients that are considering adoption, I would love to connect them to um, the nightlight office closest to them. And um, even if they just want a little bit of information, we would be honored to be able to talk to your clients. And we're always willing to travel to you, but we're also always willing to meet over Zoom, FaceTime, whatever you would like. So thanks so much for listening and please feel free to reach out.